Now this is where it all starts. You're looking for your tomatoes, you have to go to your local market. We're looking for tomatoes. For your onions and your garlic. Typical setup for the burners with the propane tanks. And of course safety is the most important part. You should always have at least a distance of between three and five feet. And of course, space around so we can move around so people don't burn themselves. These are very large pots designed for the tomato sauce. You usually see these at corn roasts, They're usually made out of aluminum and they're very expensive. Welcome to the Italian cook. Today we're going to be making tomato sauce. This machine is the machine we use to grind the tomato into a pulp where we then cook it. So for now we'll just look at what is needed to make tomato sauce. At this point, after we wash the tomatoes, this is the process of cutting the tomatoes in small pieces. This way, as you will see in the next step, when we start cooking the tomatoes, it'll be easier for them to, to uh, get a little more softer so that we can pass it through the machine. And the labor is <laughs> Teamwork. It's all teamwork. That's what it is. Or else this whole family tradition is a beautiful thing. <coughs> Gives us an opportunity to talk and discuss life, family. And we cook and make a beautiful sauce at the same time. Yep. Well, as you can see, we've progressed to the olive oil onion and garlic process. You're probably asking at what, um, how much you have to cook them. How much do you have to cook them, Elena? I told they're soft. Now they're about to be, they're about ready. You can add the tomatoes. So now, we are going to add the tomato. Wait till they're soft and a little bit, and then you can mix them. You mix it because uh, you, you don't, don't want, want it to burn at the bottom, right? Yes. And you don't want to burn the on onions at the bottom. Oh, so you're trying to bring everything up at the same time. It's like canoeing. Eh? Hey? Yeah. Better have strong arms. Got to be a real strong Sicilian woman to do that, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. All you men out there wonder about Sicilian women. They're very strong. <laughs> Should I now pass we're at the uh, step of passing the, the uh, boiled uh, pulp into this machine that we basically uh, make it into a liquid form.
basically we're going to add the salt. How much salt are you putting? It's a lot. A lot means uh, by the eye, but I've counted three palms of, of salt. Uh, there's approximately 65 liters of sauce in there. So make your own calculations. So three handfuls of salt for 60 liters of sauce. What, what, did, you, what did you say? You taste later and adjust your salt accordingly. Very good. Now what's next? What's coming next? Now we'll put some uh, oregano. Oregano. It, does it specifically have to be fresh? Well, you're using dry, right? Dry. Okay, hold on. Now one palm. About two. Two palm. Two palm to 60 liters of sauce. Two palm. Very good. What's next? Garlic powder. Garlic powder. Even though you put fresh garlic, why would you put garlic powder one palm? It's a personal taste. If you like it, you put it. If not... Two palms. So two palms. Oh my God. Lots of garlic in that sauce, eh? So 60 liters of sauce, two palms of garlic. Anything else? Yes. Black pepper. Black pepper. Freshly grounded black pepper. One palm, two palm for 60 liters of sauce. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Anything else? And I put some dry basil. Dry basil's coming. One palm, two palm. Unbelievable. 60 liters of sauce. Oh, something special is coming. Oh, this is from the garden, fresh from the garden. You're basically spreading it around, as I can see. Stir it. Stirring it. And later, when it's almost cooked, then you can add your fresh basil, so it stays more fresh when you jar it. You can also add fresh basil to your sauce, maybe half an hour before canning, so that way it stays nice and green when it's in your jar. Very good. Put it in the sauce. Yeah, you can put it in the sauce. Beautiful. Excellent. Uh, usually you can put what, 30 or 40 leaves? Uh, approximately. Okay, great. Some people even like to put it just before they, they close their jar, mm -hmm. but I prefer that it boil a little bit. Very good. So now we wait till it boils before we can. Correct. Right. Or to your consistency and thickness. Correct. Very good. So now we're coming to the process where the sauce is boiled, we've gotten the right consistency, and now we start to can. These are mason jars. As soon as you tighten the mason jar, what happens is when the sauce cools, it sort of like compresses and it stays fresh for a couple of years without refrigeration. This process over here is where we put the cans under blankets so this way it'll cool very, very slowly. This is also to uh, so that the sauce doesn't go bad. So then basically once you've waited for the cooling of the tomatoes uh, I have set up a um, an area in my basement with shelving and I store the tomato sauce for a year or two. As you can see, I have over 200 jars, and this will be pretty good for a year, year and a half, for four adults. Don't forget, you can you can also make uh, chicken cacciatore, veal parmesan, any tomato-based uh, meal with rice, with seafood. So basically, this is it. Thank you for viewing my uh, production on tomato sauce.